Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is the game. Jeremy McWilliams. Remember the name. What's up guys, welcome to the video. I'm gonna switch things up just a tiny bit in this video and instead of doing what I've done in the past where I talk about how much I've earned reselling shoes on eBay this week or even this month and instead I'm gonna talk about how much I've earned reselling soccer cleats on eBay since pretty much the beginning of the new year. All in all, there's a grand total of six soccer cleats that I'll be covering in this video. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, the first pair of soccer cleats that we're gonna talk about is these guys right here. The Nike Mercurial Vapor 12 Elite FG in the Thunder Gray Yellow colorway, size seven and a half. All right, so as you guys can see right here, it says they sold for $94.49 with free shipping. Honestly, I'm not 100% sure why eBay does this on the original listing page, like right here where it says these soccer cleats sold for $94.49 with free shipping. The problem with that is that is not the correct price that they sold for. The actual price that they sold for, if you go to my sold listings page and you find that same pair of cleats, which is this one right here, you can see the actual sales price was $85 with free shipping. Now, like I said, I'm not 100% sure why eBay does that, but my best guess is $94.49 is probably the price I originally listed these cleats for. And with almost all my listings, I usually do like $94.49 or best offer. So I'm guessing the customer probably offered $85 and I accepted and that's why $85 was the actual sales price. But who knows, I might be wrong, I might be right, I don't know for sure, that's just my best guess. Anyways, back to cleats number one. Since we now know the real sales price, let me go to my cheat sheet right here, where I did all the math, and let's see. So they sold for $85 with free shipping, and then eBay took their 10% cut, which was $8.50, then PayPal took their 3%, which was $2.55, and then shipping, for these cleats was $10.86 and then the price that I originally paid for the cleats at Ross was $21.29. So when you take the original sales price of $85 and you subtract all those numbers that I just mentioned, it gives you a grand total profit of $41.80, which honestly is a pretty decent profit for one pair of shoes. Keeping it 100% real, I'd be pretty dang happy if every pair of shoes that I sold gave me a profit or a return on my investment of $41.80. But unfortunately, that's not always the case. Anyways, that's a wrap for number one. So moving on to cleats number two, we actually have the exact same pair of cleats as you guys can see at the top. Once again, the Nike Mercurial Vapor 12 Elite FG in the Thunder Gray Yellow colorway. The only difference is this one's a five and a half, and it also sold for quite a bit more than the other one. Although, once again, the sales price on the original listing page of 119.50 unfortunately isn't correct. The real sales price for this one, if we go back to my eBay sold page, is $100, as you guys can see right here, with free shipping. So if you take the $100, subtract $10 for eBay's cut, $3 for PayPal's cut, and then this one was also $10.86 to ship. The last thing you gotta subtract is the cost of goods, which is what I paid for the cleats at Ross. Once again, that was $21.29. Take the sales price of 100, subtract all those numbers, and it gives you a grand total profit of $54.85. So moving on to cleats number three is these Nike Hyper Venom Phantom 3 Elite FGs, size eight. Let's see, product page says that these ones sold for $90 with $5 shipping. Survey says that was a lie. These ones actually sold for $85 plus $5 shipping, which is pretty close. Definitely a lot closer than the other two cleats we've covered so far. So you take the $90 sales price. The reason that you use $90 to figure out your profit is because in order to get your actual profit, you gotta add the shipping cost to the sales cost. And the reason for that is because eBay and PayPal both take their cut from the sales price of the item plus the shipping cost that the buyer paid. So we take that $90, subtract $9 for eBay's cut, $2.70 for PayPal's cut, $10.86 once again for shipping. That's pretty crazy that all three cleats so far have had the exact same shipping cost. 
But anyways, and then last but not least, you subtract what I paid for the cleats, which was once again $21.29. So take the $90, subtract all the numbers I just mentioned, and that gives us a grand total profit for these cleats of $46.15. So, so far, all three of the cleats that we've talked about have given me a profit of over $40, which honestly is really good. Usually my rule of thumb for the most part is I consider anything over like 20 bucks profit to be pretty solid. And these three definitely fit that bill. Moving on to cleat number four, we have these Nike Phantom Venom Elite AG Pro. And as you guys can see on the original listing page, it says they sold for $118 plus $9.90 for tax. And survey says, checking my eBay sold page, the sales price was actually correct this time, $118. Shipping was a little bit off. The buyer actually paid $10.40, but all in all, pretty close for this one. So once again, we gotta add what the buyer paid for shipping to the sales price, and we get the actual sales price that the customer paid of $128.40. So from that, eBay once again takes their 10% cut of $12.84, PayPal's 3% cut for these ones equals $3.85, and then I paid $8.50 to ship them to the customer, and then once again, I paid $21.29 at Ross for the cleats. So subtract all those numbers from $128.40 and you get a grand total profit of $81.92. Which honestly, I can pretty confidently say that $81.92 is probably close to the highest profit that I've made on any pair of shoes since I started reselling. Moving on to cleats number five is these Nike Mercurial Vapor 11 SG ACC Pro in the University Red colorway. The listing page said they sold for $104.99 with a shipping cost of $4.99. Once again, go back to my eBay sold page and you guys can see that for the first time in this video, the sold price on the original listing page is actually correct. So once again, we take the $104.99, add $4.99 for shipping, which gives us a grand total of $109.98. eBay takes $11 for their cut. PayPal takes $3.30. These ones also cost me $8.50 to ship. And then once again, I bought them from Ross for $21.29. Subtract all the numbers and it gives us a grand total profit of $65.89 which once again is pretty solid. I'm definitely happy with that profit. And last but not least, we have cleats number six, which is these Nike Tiempo Legend 7 Elite SG Pro Anti-Clog ACCs. That's a pretty long name. The original listing page said they sold for $75 with a shipping cost of $9.90. Go back to my eBay sold page and you guys can see right here that the $75 sales price is actually correct and the real shipping cost was 1040 which isn't too far off from the $9.90 listed on the original listing page. So add $9.90 to 75 and it gives us $85.40 for the total sales price. For these cleats, eBay takes a cut of $8.54, PayPal takes $2.56, shipping once again is $8.50, and then these ones unfortunately are the only pair of cleats in this video that I didn't get from Ross for $19.99. I actually had to pay $34.99 for these ones and with tax they ended up costing me $37.26 so take the $85.40 sales price, subtract $8.54 for eBay's cut, $2.56 for PayPal's cut, shipping once again was $8.50, and then last but not least, we gotta subtract what I paid for the shoes, which like I said was $37.26, and that gives us a grand total profit of $28.54, which you guys probably noticed is our lowest profit by quite a bit. Now if you take the total profit from all six pairs of cleats that I just covered in this video, you get a grand total profit of, drum roll please. Drum roll please. $319.15 $319 which for six pairs of shoes I would say is pretty dang good and definitely nothing to complain about. So with that said that's a wrap for this video. If you got any questions, comments, suggestions or whatever drop them below. I'll do my best to answer them. Either way thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your night. Catch you in the next video and as always stay limitless. Sorry, I'll feel. No, not at all. I'll
Oh, no, a few. A few, 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 a few